Welcome to this video. Uh, today I will show you how to prepare the transient simulation case in open form of propeller. Um, so in previous video tutorial we was performed steady state uh, simulation of propeller and today I will show you what changes what change in your case steady state case you have to make for transient simulation of your uh, propeller. So let's um, download the prepared case example with transient setup. Let's go to repository. Let's go here and let's go to this account. And if you, you will find in my repository open form propeller pimple form, we will be using the pimple form solver in open form it incompressible transient um, solver and let's download this prepared case download zip let's paste it to working directory where you want to work let's extract files here and I will paste it to this directory and will delete this archives okay so uh, here in left hand side we have a steady state uh, previous from previous video tutorial case and here we have the transient case and I will show you the main changes uh, which we have here for simulation transient okay let's go to directory zero in and open the velocity files and here in velocity uh, we have no sleep condition for steady state case it means it on the wall we have zero uh, velocity value but in transient case we have to change the condition no sleep to moving wall velocity it is important step uh, and set the value of velocity on the surface it will be zero 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 okay it all changes which we have in here pressure we have also zero gradient for wall and for another all uh, boundaries and it, here we have the similar conditions for transient simulation let's go to constant folder in constant folder we change the multiple reference frame properties file to dynamics mesh dict let's open both and compare it i will close pressure file and open the two multiple reference frame properties file we used uh, for steady state cases uh, this um, multiple reference frame um, approach is mean that we have the some uh, additional uh, velocity for rotation of our domain and uh, our mesh is static position in uh, in process of simulation in st transient simulation we have the some mesh uh, changing of position and uh, we have used the dynamic mesh format of simulation for this uh, we add the library of dynamic motion solver and perform the physical changing of rot rotation changing rotate position of our mesh in process of simulation we over time okay but the setup of this for steady and transient very similar because we have the our cell zone rotor here also we have the cell zone rotor and here we have the position our uh, rotation axis zero 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 similar like here 
rotation um, axis is Z and um, rotation speed radian per second here and here is Omega so let's close these two files and for transient properties and turbulence properties we don't have some changes here and let's go to the folder of system here let's open the control dict files in control dict here we have the simple form application it's a solver here we have the pimple form and start time for both cases we have zero but here we have the number of iteration and uh, one iteration is delta t but for transient case we have the physical time we have the seconds real seconds of simulation is 10 seconds for example for this case i said for end of simulation and delta t it's a physical uh, time step for our simulation okay this uh, settings is similar like for steady case and one important thing for transient case we have some uh, just some um, conditions for uh, setup of delta t we have we can to fix the delta t for over of uh, simulation but uh, in some cases we have the current uh, number uh, requirements for example if we want uh, to make the very accuracy simulation uh, with pressure fluctuations for uh, estimation of vibrations in mechanical um, uh, simulation you have to reduce the number current number and the recommended current number is less than five but let's make the rough simulation with maximum current number 100 it uh, mean only uh, accuracy of simulation and the less number of current number criteria we can to uh, increase the stability if uh, you activate the adjust time step to yes uh, this um, activation give us the adaptive time step over, simu over simulation using the maximum um, value of current number here we have the um, maximum number is 100 and this uh, delta t it uh, will be working for first time step iteration so here let's save it this y plus enforces we don't have some changes from this case and let's close the control dict file let's go to fivi schemes yeah we have also some changes these changes as the general changes is that for steady state we have the delta t scheme is steady state meaning and for transient case we have the error it mean that we have the changes of our fields over time for steady state it will be something like averaging of our fields over time and after that here is don't uh, for divergent schemes we have similar conditions for here i said linear but we have can use for steady state also linear like here uh, but for another settings we have the similar we can use the similar uh, settings for steady and transient simulation let's close the favor schemes and let's go to favor solution in favor solution uh, for steady state case we have the p u k omega it this uh, settings of solver is um, equal for all iteration and in transient case we have the p and p final it means that um, for our transient simulation when we perform simulation um, in people using pimple algorithm 
uh, views uh, some time step and inter this time step include um, several small steady state simulation if you make one time step you will, will perform the several iteration like as in steady state case and for last iteration we will use these settings for our solver but for another iteration in our time step uh, we have these settings of solver okay let's go to pimple uh, settings here we have the simple the non-orthogonal characters I have here is 2 for reducing number of physical time simulation number of characters for pressure and outer characters it means how uh, uh, these outer characters mean means how much iterations we have to perform in pro in our one time step of simulation it something like steady state simulation in one time step okay here we have like a steady state and if you want to speed up our transient simulation you want to reduce this number but if you will set something like one iteration it will not be enough for converge of simulation it will be very rough simulation process and so uh, we have to set something like residual control if our residual uh, will be less than this value we will go out from this uh, iteration process and uh, will change to next time step uh, of our process of simulation so and after that we have to set up the relaxation factors if uh, you important the process of simulation uh, and you want to stability for internal for internal um, iteration per uh, time step you can to use 0 0.3 for example or to uh, increase it or de decrease it and for last iteration you have to use this one uh, relaxation factor and also final relaxation factor for uk omega final you have to use also one if you will reduce it you will get uh, uh, nonsense for your simulation process but if you uh, perform the some if you will get something like steady uh, flow maybe the result will be correct with smaller number of p final and uh, uk omega final but uh, y you have to know that you have to use you should use um, p final equal to one okay so let's close these two files here and uh, it's all changes which we have between the steady state and transient simulation and after that let's create here form form file point form file for open the project in paraview and let's run go to this folder in our open form and run the simulation but before it we have to create the parallel setting parallel uh, folders for simulation and run it in parallel mode use our course of cpu ampere mp i run minus np number of course af after that pimple form this solver we use for simulation and minus parallel and press enter and you will run the simulation and how can you see uh, we have for one time step the pimple iterations here and after some time 
some number of iteration. Here we have 21 iteration and we got converge uh, criteria for our P and for our velocity fields, uh, residuals. And the solver performs the last iteration with high uh, relaxation factor and go, go to next um, time step with this um, sub iteration in time step. So let's open our project and check what's going on with fluid flow in our case. How can you see? Uh, the simulation, transient simulation require very much time than steady state simulation, but it's more accurately, more stable, and you will can get the some additional information from transient simulation. So let's open the form form file from transient directory. Open the form form file, and here we have to uh, use this case type as a decomposed case because we have this parallel mode of simulation here. If you will run just pimple form, you will get the results here. You can use the reconstructed case. Okay, after that, let's activate the visualization of our propeller. And um, here we have these time steps in our simulation. This will be field of our pressure and let's create uh, the vel uh, vectors for our velocity on our propeller. Let's click apply and you will get this uh, velocity uh, uh, vectors on our surface and if you will uh, run animation you will get some changes of pressure here and velocity field. Let's reload our case because we have the process simulation. It will increase this number because we have the sometime step results. And let's run again here. How can you see uh, um, the mesh is was rotating perform rotation. And uh, we can see the some changes with fields and with our uh, vectors. It looks uh, stable and correct here. Let's reload it and we'll make the some rotation here. Of course, you can to wait. Uh, much time uh, before you will get the result uh, similar like in steady state case um, here and um, when you will get got uh, you will get uh, the fluctuation of your power and trust in this post processing files For these values, you can to use uh, the results of simulation for estimation of uh, fluctuation of your parameters and for creation of animation, for example. Let's reload it again and let's perform so going to last time, st time step. Okay, so it looks correct because we have the some uh, small pressure on our section side and high value of pressure on pressure side in end field looks like in case of our steady state simulation so um, it's a finish of creation and simulation of transient uh, simulation of propeller thank you for watching subscribe to the channel goodbye